हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नारायण चांडक आई एम प्रोफेसर एट एस वी के एम्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दुले सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स यूनिट वन एज पर डी बार टू सिलेबस इट फोकसेस ऑन द टाइप्स ऑफ फोर सिस्टम्स and you know university question paper pattern is every question has three sub parts of 6 marks each first part is mostly theory question another two are numericals out of three you have to attempt any two i will suggest you to cover theory and derivations of each unit and hence if you are attempting all five questions of 6 marks you can score 30 marks easily to have scoring you need to practice numericals so with this video i am going to help you to solve the previous year question papers numericals unit wise so i am taking first problem which is appeared in the recent exam of d batu on Fifth January two thousand twenty-four. The question is: Four forces equal to P, two P, three P, and four P are. respectively acting along the four sides of square a b c d taken in order find the magnitude and direction and position of the resultant force diagram was given so diagram was like this there is a square abcd so it is like this abcd i am just drawing for your sake it is already given in the question paper you can see here i am having a question paper so this is the diagram given so the forces shown accordingly so i am showing the same forces P, two P, three P, and four P. This is basically a very simple problem. Even don't need a calculator also to solve this. To make this problem simple, what you can do is you can convert this diagram into a concurrent. force system so for your better understanding i'm just taking the same problem and just replacing with a concurrent forces so you can see here without changing the direction and using the transmissibility principle we can show the same forces you can see P I have shown towards right. Three P I can show towards left. Then two P is upward, so towards up, and four P on bottom side. 
and we know the sign convention this is plus this is plus this is minus and this is minus so to avoid confusion to me sign ether liu shakta there is no problem now we can find the resultant of forces so resultant of forces in x and y direction summation of fx equals to i can write this is p minus 3p so that is equals to 2p so it is minus summation of fy is equals to 2p minus 4p that is equals to minus 2p and hence i can get resultant of forces by using formula r equals to under root of summation of fx square plus summation of fy square so similarly just put up the values minus 2p square minus 2p square and hence i will get under root of minus 2p square is 4p square plus minus 2p square is again 4p square so that is equals to 8p square so if you take out or if you take a root of 8 you will get r equals to 2.82p so this is the resultant now we want to find the direction so direction of resultant force we know the formula tan theta is equals to summation of fy upon summation of fx it is absolute actually so no need to write the sign so we got summation of fy as minus 2p so it is 2p divided by summation of fx is also 2p so i'm getting tan theta equals to 1 and hence theta equals to you can solve on can calculator tan inverse of 1 hence theta equals to 45 degree now it has been asked to sh show the position so just draw a quadrant system and we know our both the forces summation of forces are minus so your resultant force lies in third quadrant and this is your r that is 2.82 p and its angle with respect to horizontal this is this is always with respect to horizontal that is 45 degree so this is the answer i hope you understood this problem the problem is asked for 6 marks thank you